Hi there, I'm Casey Healy, Director here at Century 21. Just wanted to take this opportunity to welcome you to your new home. We just have this quick guide for you uh, on leasing with our agency. We do want to make the process as easy and as stress-free as possible for you. Your lease documents, if you haven't already signed, these will be sent to you electronically. In the documents, you'll receive the residential tenancy agreement, which will specify the term of the agreement, the rent amount, approved occupants and approved pets. You will also sign them electronically and they'll come back to our office automatically. Once we've received a copy, you will be sent your copy of those signed uh, documents that are co-signed by our agency electronically. Rent payments. It is a condition of leasing with our office that your rent is paid by a direct debit. Now we can set this up on the day that's best suitable for you in line with your pay cycle is what we do suggest. We need you to ensure that the funds are available in the account the day before the debit's due to be taken. We do process our direct debits really early of a morning and a direct debit failure will result in a fee being charged. And you should always understand the importance of a clean tenancy ledger. This is basically your resume for renting property. So if you do have some direct debit failures on your ledger or rental arrears, it may affect leasing properties further down the track. The condition report. This would have by now been sent to you electronically. We have to complete this report prior to signing the lease with you. The report details room by room the condition of the property, including any fixtures and fittings. As much detail as possible, it's best to add in the report. So if you're not agreeing with something that we've said in the report, you have the opportunity, it'll say tenant agrees, yes or no. You'll mark no and add the reasoning or any additional information. It'll also ask you to take a photo to show that back into the report. Once it's been signed by all tenants, it does need to be returned to our agency within seven days to be valid. Parking, we ask that you only only park in the car space provided. Please do not park on the grass at the property. If your car does leak, we ask that you use a drip tray and there's no unregistered cars to be kept at the property. Alterations. Please refrain from making any alterations to the property. If you do want to hang some pictures and make the property a little more homely, we suggest you use the 3M hooks that are removable. Any damage that is caused will be your responsibility at the end of tenancy. Pool maintenance. If you have a pool at the property, under the Residential Tenancy Act, it is your responsibility to maintain the pool, unless it's stipulated in your lease. Please keep all items away from the fence. Ensure gates are locked at all times to ensure security for children. Carpet cleaning. If you do happen to spill something on the carpet, we ask that you do clean it up straight away. We recommend also booking annual carpet cleaning just to maintain the carpet. If you do have pets, it is mandatory on vacate that the carpets be professionally cleaned. If you have been approved for the pet, it must be approved in writing and it must be stipulated on your tenancy agreement. At the end of lease, you must arrange for the property to be professionally sprayed for fleas and to have the carpets cleaned on vacate. Smoking, we ask that you refrain from smoking inside the property and that you do put your cigarette butts in the bin and dispose of them responsibly. Water usage, if applicable, you are responsible for paying water usage. This will be stipulated in your tenancy agreement. We will invoice you for the water usage and from there you have 21 days to pay the account. If your rent is paid through direct debit, it will be debited on the due date. Reporting maintenance, we ask that you do report maintenance. We want to keep the condition of our properties high and really maintain the landlord's asset. Please make sure you report all maintenance through our website. So if you head to our website under tenants, there's a um, maintenance request. We do also ask that you add as many photos and give as much detail as possible. Periodical inspections, these will be completed three to four times a year. You will be notified via email of your periodical inspection. It's our opportunity to check the condition of the property and whether maintenance is required. We also do invite our landlords to attend these inspections. Breaking your lease. If you do need to break your lease, we ask that you let us know as soon as possible. And under your residential tenancy agreement, there will be some form of break lease fee payable. Notice to vacate. If you do want to vacate the property, we just need this notice in writing to us. You do need to refer to your tenancy agreement just to stipulate what period of notice is required. 
Contents insurance, it is the tenant's responsibility to maintain, to ensure their own belongings at the property. Open communication, please let us know if you have any concerns. We want to make your tenancy as enjoyable as possible. Enjoy your new home. This is our team. We do work in pods, so you've got two property managers and one tenancy support care working together to help you through your tenancy with our agency. If you do have any questions now, I ask you to speak with either Skylar or Ash and go through things further. Enjoy the property. Thank you for renting with Century 21.